Christmas guys so this is another one of my favorite things I'm here with my good friend Ricky Cortez he owned a remodeling and construction company uh, RHC remodeling is right here with us hey Ricky hey how y'all doing how y'all doing happy holidays happy holidays so tell us about you who are you where are you from I am Ricky Cortez like you said uh -huh. born and raised here in Houston Texas been here pretty much my whole life mm -hmm. uh, in the Leaf area if y'all know I currently reside in Katy Texas I have a remodeling company going on for about seven years now, eight years. Started during Hurricane Harvey and kind of carried on and, and grew up from there. Uh, and I'm excited. I'm ex exciting times right now. This Thank you for great. coming. Thank you way. for having me. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. So you started right after Harvey. So what, what made yeah. you decide to, to just start and do this? Me and my wife were flipping homes uh, before Harvey. And I think you remember that. Yes, I remember. And things didn't go so well for us. Uh, after Harvey, we had issues getting contractors to come out to our house. We had a whole bunch of people saying, hey, we'll be there tomorrow. We'll be there tomorrow. And they Guess what? Tomorrow never came. Yeah. So I was kind of forced in position. I lost my job. And then I was forced in, in a position where I had to finish the house myself. Oh, wow. So I started finding people that had the skills and the labor that, that I didn't have. And I, I mean, one thing led to another. We put the houses on the market. Long story longer, we didn't do well flipping homes. I found out I was a lot better at fixing other people's home than my own home. So, and this is where we're at now. This is usually how one of the, the best stories start, right? You got pissed off by somebody or, you know, you could not have the service that you need for yourself and you decide to do it your, yourself. This is great. So you, you're doing it as a passion pretty much. Yes, I didn't realize I had a passion for it. It was kind of where I had nothing else to do. But then I've always taken other people very serious. Like this, this is people's investments. These are people's homes. Uh, and I just really care about people. So uh, obviously delivering a good product for someone, making sure that they're taken care of, not taking any shortcuts, that's important to us. It's important to me. Yeah, that's super important for everybody uh, flipping home. I, myself, went through a lot of ups and downs with contractor. You know, you, you trust them to do the work. They make the exterior look pretty, but behind the wall, it's a mess. And then you have uh, an uh, the buyer, if you sell the house, your buyer buy the house, and then they do a home inspection, and it's a okay. catastrophe, you know? So, yeah, I perfectly understand. Uh -huh. So, tell me, yes. That's a homeowner, Kamal. Hi, Hi Miss Kamal. Kamal. We're, we're doing a little commercial. <laughs> you want to say something about Ricky? Uh, no. No? Not yet? After the work? No, no he's, doing, he's doing good, but I just don't want to be on TV. <laughs> she said he's doing good, more than good, oh, but she doesn't oh, want to yeah. be on TV, but she loves him. <laughs> okay, so tell, tell me, if somebody's looking for a contractor to fix their home, repair, upgrade, renovation, remodeling, yeah. what's some of the questions they need to know or should ask to make sure, you know, they can trust the person? I think one of the main things is getting referrals. Okay. Um, I talk to a lot of clients and, and, and my business is referrals. So people that have done business with me are telling other people and I realize that's like the strongest referral there because you're passing trust onto someone you already trust, mm -hmm. right? Um, but the main thing is getting referrals and I've had clients actually call people that I've done work for in the past and they've asked them, like, hey, how was Ricky? How did he do? And, I mean, I've had prior clients tell me, hey, such and such has called me for, you know, asking questions about you. Um, I think that's the main thing, just getting referrals. Okay. Um, I think another thing is asking them questions as far as timelines. Okay. Progress payments. Oh, kind of. How, break that down for me. T break the timeline and the progress payment. How does that work? Uh, so pretty much in a contracting business, okay. based on progressions, mm -hmm. that kind of allows it entails a progress payment. Okay. So usually I like to split it up where you get a deposit up front. Okay. So I can buy all the material up front and then I ask for another progress payment like halfway down. Okay. Right. And then another progress payment after that about 75% completion. And then there's a retainer and the okay. retainer protects the client to make sure that the contractor finishes the job, but also protects the contractor too. So we get paid, we can get to a point where we finish a job, and both of us are protected. 
Oh, that's really well organized because sometimes, I'm sure some of you are, that are watching, you may bump to somebody, they, have, they don't know how to manage their money, and every five minutes they're asking you for a check, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, okay. I, I think it definitely has to be organized. It has to be there has to be a structure mm -hmm. according to it. So, out, on top of that, which other question you think we should absolutely also ask? Um, referrals, as far as if if the experience that someone may have, okay. how long someone's been doing it, okay, access to the house, as far as who's going to be coming into the house, okay, how long you've been working with, if it's subcontractors or workers, yeah, I you use don't, a, you don't want your stuff to be stolen. That's right. I use a mixture of both. I use a mixture of, of people that I pay weekly, uh -huh. but I also have subs. Okay. So, I mean, who you're bringing into the house is important, especially if you have kids around, things like that. Uh, asking for insurance. Okay. If, if the contractor's insured, if someone gets injured on your property, you want to make sure that, mm -hmm. God forbid, that the contractor has insurance. So for insurance, what's the standard practice on insurance? How does that work? Explain it to me. It's pretty much if someone gets injured, I mean the main reason why you have if if, if there's significant damage. Okay, so if to they the messed house, up your property. Whether it's plumbing related, water damage, electrical, I mean small fire, if one of my workers falls down, breaks a hip, it doesn't it if I'm insured, my okay. insurance will cover that. Oh, perfect. If I'm not insured, that's a problem. They have the legal right to sue the homeowner. Uh oh, and so make sure of... make sure your contractor is insured. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's important. Thank you, but I didn't know that, so I learned something new today. Thank you. Yeah. I'm you're... a little bit more smart. You're very welcome. <laughs> So what else, uh, do you have any advice as for maintenance on the property? Yeah, I do. Um, I think regular maintenance, you should check all your angle stops. On the bottom of all your sinks, you open up the cabinets, you have angle stops. They, they always leak mm -hmm. and you want to make sure they're functioning. So if there is a leak in the house, you don't have to turn off the main water valve to the house. You can actually turn off where the leak is coming from. Okay. So it's very beneficial, especially during the freeze. A lot of people had to turn off their main water, and they had no water to the rest of the house because just turned off some of the angle stops. So okay. And then it's um, pretty easy. Okay. Well, I see here we're in a in a beautiful home. This this house is actually gorgeous. Yes. Gorgeous. So I see here you guys are working all of all of this. You did the yep. stairs. So what you're gonna do on the stair? You're gonna put. Some, uh, we sanded down the handrails. Okay. Right, we're restaining it. Uh, all new floors, all new hardwood floors, uh, new cabinets. We're doing new treads mm -hmm. on the stairs. With uh, we're painting the riser. Okay. Um, downstairs, all new cabinets, new kitchen, all new bathrooms. So this is a very big home. Unfortunately for the homeowner, they went out of town during the freeze. Okay. And when they came back, they found water Everywhere. coming down from the the attic straight down into the kitchen and it was going on all weekend so pretty much so, if we have a freeze of some crazy again happen like that it's just just turn off your main valve turn off yep turn off your main leave your water dripping okay and turn off your main so it clears out all the all the pipes okay and so then that way there's nothing to freeze well the pipe will freeze but there's nothing to expand and contract inside the pipe so there's no bursting okay so did you hear that guys Listen to from the man. You pay hear attention. From the man. Pay attention in Spanish. Ponga atención. Ponga atención. <laughs> so, as you know, this is Christmas yeah. for everybody. They're uh, wanting to work with you because yeah. it's the season of giving. If you come with the code, y'all should know that by now. Christmas DBK, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I wanna I know, have, I wanna know, I wanna know. I wanna throw a promotion out, 10% discount from now until February. If you call me, I'll give you a 10% discount on any home improvement, whether it's replacing a toilet, changing down the sink, something small as that, painting a room, or kitchen remodel, bathroom remodel, flooring remodel, 10% um, discount. This is awesome. Did you hear that? 10% discount between now and February 14, right? Yes. Until the day of love, right? For the season the of giving of to the day of love. The so day of love. RHC is loving on you guys, so make sure to come and tell him and give him the code Christmas DBK, and you can have your reduction. He's so great. He can come to your home, walk through. You do free yes. estimate? Absolutely. Free okay. estimates, yes. Okay. And then, so make sure you take an appointment. How people can reach out to you if they want to talk to you? What's the number? 713-443-4666. Uh, RHC Remodeling.
Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned uh, a little bit more today. Hopefully you enjoyed this time. Ricky is great. He's on top of his work. I've seen him working and I know all the people that work with him and all the referrals that he has. So I've seen his work. He's really good. So Thank make you. sure to call him. He's the man for you. Christmas uh, DBK. So you get a home remodel. You get a home remodel and you too. So talk to you guys soon. See you later. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Happy holidays, guys. Bye.